Hello traders! In this video, you will see how to download, install, and use the Account Protector Expert Advisor. This automation tool can help you capture profits, protect your account from excessive drawdowns, and a lot more. Let's start by downloading it. The link to the download page is available in this video's description. Once you scroll down to the download section, you will see two download links, one for MT4 and one for MT5. We will work with the MT4 version in this tutorial. Once the download finishes, click on the archive. Right-click on the account protector folder and select copy. Open your MetaTrader 4. In the menu, click File, Open Data Folder. Then MQL4, Experts. Right-click and select Paste. As you can see, the account protector comes pre-compiled, so you don't need to follow any further installation steps. However, the source code is also available if you want to make some changes to it. Let's return to MetaTrader. Refresh the list of experts. Now you can add the account protector to the chart. Make sure that the live trading option is enabled on the common tab. Allow DLL imports is also required for some of the EA's actions. Now, to the input parameters. There are many input parameters, but we will look at just a few of them in this video. Enable Emergency button places a big red button on the panel to quickly close all trades and disable auto trading. The next four inputs can be used to make the protectors functioning perpetual. Don't disable conditions will make it so that a condition can be triggered again and again. Don't disable actions lets the AP to execute the same actions when triggered again. Don't disable equity trailing stop makes the trailing stop continuous, restarting it upon each triggering. Don't disable timer makes the timer cyclical. There is a large section for conditions. This lets turning some conditions off to remove them from the panel. Let's enable one particular condition by setting its disable flag to false. Its daily profit greater or equal a number of currency units. It's a useful condition if you are aiming for a certain amount of daily profit. There are more input parameters below. For example, here's the one that switches the equity trailing stop from using currency units to percentage points. This one turns on alerts for equity trailing stop triggering. And this one allows you to set some amount of additional funds to be applied to your account. This won't add actual money, of course, but it can be useful if you want the account protector to include into its calculations the funds that you might store elsewhere but want to consider in total equity, balance, or margin. Global Snapshots is another interesting feature. It lets you connect two or more account protector instances through equity or margin snapshots. This lets you combine actions and conditions in a really complex manner to enact even more sophisticated risk management schemes. The last parameter we'll talk about here is the log file name. This is where the account protector logs its operations. It can be useful if you need to see what happened, especially if you leave the account protector operating 24-7 on a VPS. As you can see, the alert pops up to warn that the platform's auto-trading is off. Let's turn it on. At the top of the panel, you can see its current status and whether it's turned on or off. Then go the panel's tab switches. The next line is for the stuff related to spreads, commission, and swaps. Then follow the timer settings. The next line is to set the profit level for a trade when the account protector's trailing stop kicks in. Then there is the actual trailing stop distance to use as a stop loss. It's important to note that this trailing stop works for each trade separately. The same for the breakeven feature. First, there is a profit level for the breakeven to kick in. Then there is the extra profit value to add to the breakeven. 
the equity trailing stop works for the entire account and remains hidden from your broker. The next section is for the snapshots of the account equity and free margin. And finally, there is the emergency button. If you click on it, the EA will immediately close all trades, delete all pending orders, and disable auto trading. Let's go to the filters tab. Here you can set up filtering for positions and orders. If you set some filters, the account protector will only count profit and loss on the filtered trades. It also won't close the trades that are skipped by the filter. You can filter by magic numbers. By trading instruments. You can also filter by order commentary. By losing or profitable trades. And, of course, by direction. There is also a button to quickly reset all the filters. Moving on to the conditions tab. Here you can set the conditions that the account protector will check and execute certain actions if they are fulfilled. Let's set the daily profit loss condition that we enabled earlier via the input parameters. The value is in the currency units, which in this case means USD. Let's also set a condition for a loss. This one will trigger if the equity goes below the certain percentage of its snapshot. Setting 99 there makes it so that it will trigger when the equity goes down to 99% of 5,000 US dollars, which means 4,950 US dollars. Let's go to actions. As you can see, once we set up the conditions, the status has changed to no actions. Here you can set the account protector to close all trades. Delete all pending orders. Disable auto trading. Send an email notification. Send a push notification. Close the platform. Enable auto trading. Recapture the equity and margin snapshots. Close all other charts, except the current one. Let's set the close all trades. Delete pending orders. Send email. And disable auto trading. As you can see, the status has changed to OK but turned off. If we click the switch button, the account protector becomes fully operational. We can now open a test trade to see how it works. The account protector will trigger either if 4,950 US dollars equity is reached, or if the daily profit of 10 US dollars is reached. If either of the two conditions is satisfied, the expert advisor will use the following four actions. Waiting for the conditions to trigger may take quite some time, so we'll just skip over. And it's gone. Once the loss on the position grew to 50 US dollars, the condition triggered and all four actions that we had set up executed. As you can see, auto trading is now off. The triggered condition and the four actions are now unticked. The account protector is still on, but its status has changed to triggered. Also, showing the date and time of triggering. That's all for this account protector tutorial. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for our future videos.